वेज राधिका राधिका वाई शी ऑलवेज लेट आई कॉल्ड यू एन आवर अगो यू सेट यू टेक ट्वेंटी आई सेट आई टेक ट्वेंटी आई एम यू वाई स्टिल नॉट यू एंड यू शूडिंग एट योर हाउस I had to move the furniture for my party tomorrow. My mom just left for the airport. I had to edit two videos. Okay, guys. Also, you were eating poha. I was. I'm done. I'm sitting right here, right? I still I'm came sorry. before you. I eat slower than you because it's better for my digestion. Okay, <laughs> only your digestion works like that. Everyone's digestion is working. Hi guys, welcome <laughs> back to the Frenemies podcast with Meg and Rad. I'm Rad and she's Meg. Now she wants to get into the topic because we are so late. Anyway, today we are talking about pet peeves. Um where is my pet peeve? <laughs> okay. Um yeah, we're going to be talking about things that irritate us about each other, other people and what are our basic just general pet, pet peeves. peeves. Yeah. Because trust me, there's a lot of things that annoy me about you, you. <laughs> like a lot. Uh, this, starting with how you're always late. I'm not a queen; is never late. Everybody else is simply early. But uh, so a lot of times, I, what I was getting at is uh, because we live together and we're doing a lot of things together. And even if we are going somewhere, we have to be somewhere like an appointment, or we are going for a show. Oh, do you want to talk about the appointment where I have called you? You've said I don't want to come. I want to come. I don't want to come. I was like, okay, I'm leaving. I really need to leave. We're late for this appointment, and this person's not available I'll for say, the next couple of hours, and you are hung over. So you have told me. Oh no, मैं पहले पोहा खाऊंगी, फिर डिसाइड करूंगी मुझे जाना है। They packed the poa and ate it in the and car. And I am waiting. I'm like Meghna, Meghna, we need to leave right now. We need to leave right now. And she's like, दीदी वो पोहा नहीं बना अभी तक। नहीं नहीं। ऐसे बिल्कुल नहीं बना। उसमें पीनट नहीं डाले आपने? हाँ। And then she's packed it and we've gone. So it's not like I'm always okay. late. You're also late. Seventy-five percent of the time. You are late, or the, uh, the other day when we were going for that event. Yeah, I was late. <laughs> yeah. You're like just one minute, and she's doing a fucking line. She's like just one minute, and she's talking about it, and then she's getting annoyed. I was like, bro, you told me you to. She told me specifically that this is a great event, and we have to be there, meet the people at eight. It's nine, and this ma'am is just doing her line. But when we reached, were we late? We were late. We were leaving the part, the event. But so many people were arriving. No, a lot of people were leaving. <laughs> It was empty, and then we couldn't stay. It was there. empty because it was an empty event. It was. Oh my god. <laughs> But anyway, yeah. So the a lot of times she's because she's now because I've yelled at her the past two or three times. She'll be like, yeah, yeah, I'll be ready, I'll be ready. She has to say that. She'll ask me first. Are you gonna be? Ready? How long will you take? I'll like I'll take twenty. Oh, same. <laughs> I'm also gonna take twenty, and she's still <laughs> doing her hair. Okay. <laughs> Okay, tell me. I know you want to <laughs> talk about the things that annoy you about me. Hmm. If you, you have to think, then you have this habit of just not listening. It's like everything has to be explained to you about seven to eight times minimum. Like I have to, and I hate that when people do that. Like in general, also I have. To, I feel like I have to explain myself a lot of times in order to get people to do things, and I am. Very diligent. The first time I explain it, I will be like, "We are doing this because of this reason. It needs to be done like this. And if you have another opinion, let me know, and we will do this. It just needs to be closed right now. What are your thoughts?" And it may not be like, "Yeah, yeah, 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 yeah." I'm editing. I'm editing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, this is what you do as well. <laughs> But not when you're talking to me about something that you up, uh, please. <laughs> As anyone we know, you are always on your phone. I'm always on my phone. I completely <laughs> agree, but I'm also always like listening. You are, are you though? Did you ask me about my pet peeve or the other way around? I'm gonna interrupt because <laughs> okay, continue. Then I'll tell you why I think you are also like that. So you just I have to explain everything. Like I will explain to her. I have sent her a hotel. I've sent it on her DM. I've sent the link on her WhatsApp. 
20 minutes later, she's going through a lot of links. She's like, no, no, I'll figure it out. It's too expensive, too expensive. <laughs> and then she sent me that same link and said, have you checked this out? And I was like, I sent it to you. No, no, no. The one you sent on Instagram, it was looking damn bad. But here on this link, it's looking great. I was like, I sent the link as well. Why don't you pay attention? I think attention to detail is something that really pisses me off about mm. people, people in general. Mm. If they don't pay attention to something that I have very well explained because I'm an over explainer like even mm. watching my yeah, podcast yeah sometimes I think, yeah she, she's like sometimes it's pissing off and you're like okay I get it but do you still explaining uh, yeah I do so then why do I have to explain it eight times so there are at times when she's too into something and she'll be like okay it has to be when she wants to get things done it has to be done her way but when you are telling her something if we are at the okay say, for example we are at the gym and we are uh, like we do a body workout so that guy, <laughs> the trainer is explaining how it's supposed to be done and this ma'am is on the phone. And then I'm like, okay, let's do it. And she's and like, because what you, did you say? <laughs> and you know why that is? Because I am replying on the group telling Karuna what to cook and you will get home and be like, Mere liye nahi banaya. <laughs> and then I look like the bad person who is hogging now while you are hungry. <laughs> so attention to detail. <laughs> but I was working out. I was doing the thing that we were supposed to do at that moment. But we were supposed to tell her what we want to eat before we after, get back. Okay, after we get back. After we get back, she'll take another 30 minutes to cook it and now we are sitting hungry. Like we can do that on the way because our gym is 20 minutes away. No, but she'll take uh, some time to cook it. Sometimes something needs to be ordered, so she'll tell me we need to zip to it. It's, it's, I'm it's very hands on. This, <laughs> it's look, looking like a friendly confrontation about things <laughs> that we don't like about each other. So we are aware the next time. It was just a topic that we we're talking about. <laughs> but really, <laughs> just be aware the next time. <laughs> okay, I really hate when people bite their nails. I bite my nails a lot. I have fake nails. I mean, even I have uh, extensions, but she has a habit of constantly. No, it's never. F it's always <laughs> like same <that>. thing. <laughs> it's more aesthetic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, but it it really annoys me. Just uh, the, the just sound. Feeling. Is it the sound? Yeah. Also, sound reminds me when someone's combing their hair and that weird with that wooden comb or something. The weird noises. Oh, coming. I find it. Very relaxing. Really? That sound, not the nail biting, of course. Yeah. <laughs> because you're doing it because I'm you're relaxed now. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm relaxed. The hair brushing sound, oh, like you're saying it and it's making me feel yeah. like ASMR. I know. It just makes me feel like it's like you're breaking your hair and it's hurting me. Really? <laughs> yeah, it annoys me. Uh, it annoys me when I can um, hear someone chewing. Okay, and this happens to me because. Oh my god, this is reminding me. I was literally sleeping on my mother's lap. I was not like sleeping, but I was lying down yeah. in her lap mm -hmm. and she was over. So, and she was eating banana chips. I could just hear. <laughs> and that sound was, it was deafening. Okay, yeah. so, and like TV is playing, yeah. we're watching Modern yeah. Family. And we're watching TV. Yeah. So like clearly there's more noise than just her chewing but suddenly the whole room has gone silent and all I can hear is that. Because you're just focusing on that. Yeah and it's so irritating when I can hear people chew that I have just, I, I was literally, I, I was on her lap for about 30 seconds yeah. before I was like, no, this is not comfortable. My mom's like, what happened beta? Come lie down here. I was like, no, 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 it's okay. It's okay. I have some work to do. <laughs> I'm just gonna go. You know, that reminds me, it also annoys me. I, like you know that it's annoying when someone's chewing loudly it also annoys me because sometimes when you are in a movie theater and you want to eat popcorn and it makes a lot of sounds yeah. like oh my god if i eat someone's gonna get bothered and they're oh my god same <laughs> i'm just like what if they because this is gonna be annoying for me if they, they do it and i yeah. hate it when people talk in movies yeah that reminds yeah, me yeah same or same. they're explaining everything you know this happened now you think what is gonna happen you know guess what is gonna happen and i just fucking watched the movie <laughs> I hate that and I also hate the opposite which is the what just happened? Yeah. What does this mean? No, but but this was just your no, then how did she get to know? Watch. Like bro, pay attention. What are you doing? You have come here. So the one time when my so there's only two times in my life that I think my phone is on DND. One is when I'm sleeping every night, my mm. phone's on DND. And when I am in a theatre watching a movie. It's so pissing off. And yeah. Phone rings. Yeah. That's not pissing off when the phone rings. The pissing off part is when they pick, pick up, it up and they talk. Huh? My best. Kuch free. Uh, kuch busy. Hai. Nain, nain, best movie. Dekh <laughs> 
थिएटर में मूवी देख रहा बाकी लोग परेशान नहीं हो रहे दे आर फुल हैविंग अ कॉन्वर्सेशन अबाउट नहीं नहीं पता ना क्या हुआ जैसे कि वो तो बात या 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 दैट इरिटेट्स मी आल्सो इट्स इट्स क्वाइट अ जस्ट पे इट्स कॉमन सेंस ब्रो लाइक हु डज दैट लाइक वी हैव आल्सो पेड मनी टू वॉच द मूवी सो लेट्स एंजॉय Oh, what else? When you're using my toothpaste and you oh. keep the top open, or if you keep you use something and you just keep it, I hate it. I used to hate when I used to live with my sister Neharika. We used to share a room, and every time she used to come out of the shower, she used to come out dripping wet. Oh I was like, "Why pura room? Why did she do that?" इतना पानी भी उसने यूज नहीं किया होगा जितना गिर रहा है बाहर जस्ट लाइक ब्रो जस्ट वाइप योर सेल्फ शी इज ड्रिपिंग एवरीवेयर हेयर वाटर इज ड्रिपिंग एंड द होल रूम इज वेट एंड आई एम लाइक व्हाई यू डू दिस जस्ट वाइप इनसाइड या एंड राइट नाउ सो इफ एनीवन कम्स टू माय हाउस देयर रोमिंग अराउंड इन देयर टॉवल एंड वाटर इज ड्रिपिंग आई वाज लाइक हो चुका है पोछा यार अभी पानी गिराने की जरूरत नहीं है सो दैट्स वन थिंग दैट अनॉइज मी ऑन दैट सिमिलर ऑन सिमिलर लाइंस इट इज वेरी पिसिंग ऑफ फॉर मी व्हेन पीपल लाइक over use my generosity because mm. i am i love being a hostess yeah, yeah. i love hosting people over for anything yeah um and i've been like this even in my previous two homes but of course since this is a bigger and nicer space and mm. my own mm. i love doing this mm. and i hate it when i have opened my house to you okay and you doesn't mean you it means yeah. like in general yeah, yeah. you mm. also could mean you <laughs> but i have opened my house to you i have told you where the food is i've ordered food i've told my staff that it needs to be given like this it needs to be served like this alcohol is here you can mix it with this you can do this this make is yourself a, at home yeah make yourself at home it, to the t there, there are dental kits kits in the um mm-hmm. there are dental kits in the bathroom there's you know everything yeah, you could yeah, you should yeah. simply need yeah. and then i will just say before you guys are leaving cuz i am a loser and i will sleep before you do mm-hmm. so just keep the things back like if there are gandhi plates mm-hmm. don't leave it on my terrace mm-hmm. i'm not asking you to wipe them i'm not saying you must scrub them and mm-hmm. they must be clean mm-hmm. i'm saying now it's 3 am of course my staff has also slept mm-hmm. i can't ask them to be up to just pick up those plates yeah. so just put it in the kitchen that's it that's mm-hmm. it i'm not even saying align them or anything yeah. just put it just shut this light mm. just you know um if the speaker is on just shut it off like normal things like these if you have used a towel if you've showered at my house there's a laundry basket right I, next to the shower that reminds me you're just mad put it in when people use her towel or her washroom she's like there are three other washrooms why why do you have to use my washroom and my towels <laughs> cuz my whole point of living in this apartment was that it would have so much space for me and my loved ones yeah. that i would never have to like feel like oh shit i can't use my bathroom oh i can't do this i can't do yeah. that and i never wanted to feel that way and everybody wants to bathe in my bathroom okay so now they are bathing in my bathroom which is irritating because now it will be wet when i want to bathe <laughs> and secondly they are using my towels my bathroom has four towels <laughs> that bathroom also has four towels <laughs> now my towel has touched your body <laughs> and i don't like it you know and you have said it yeah <laughs> and i have it. said it uh so i think that is like one thing which is yeah. i mean which comes down to like yeah. over using my yeah. generosity i actually remember one time i was using a washroom and i didn't use a towel and she's yelled at me saying you were the one person who took a shower in my bathroom the last time i was like but i didn't use your towel why is it wet shubham was someone came he said oh i used your towel and i was like bro i because i know that she'll get mad i didn't use half the times i don't use the things because i was like oh my god it's going to bite me back i just <laughs> and it's not that i have a problem with people using my things or any of that it's that i have provided just yeah. as good things yeah. you know it's not like oh my towel is like very good and expensive yours ha sha pocha bhi lagate hai usse kabhi kabhi hum log it's not like that okay. but yours is still better cuz it's best l <laughs> <laughs> yeah i also use yours your best side this <laughs> dinner <laughs> we also use your vi <laughs> as a community <laughs> whoever lives here <laughs> and i live here <laughs> she lives in the same building now I, i'm talking about like a month ago when my house was getting ready okay this <laughs> could be like a controversial opinion cuz people like my age or whatever are always doing this 
I hate smoking and smokers. Mm. I hate it from the bottom of my heart. I have never been a smoker. I would <coughs> never want to be a smoker. Everything about it just is very icky. I hate that when you are not smoking, not you, mm. like when someone's not smoking, mm. they're like, Oh, you know, if it's so good in the summer, you get a cigarette, how much fun it is. Okay, with a cigarette, you get a cigarette, how much fun it is. I can't go to the bathroom. What is a cigarette? I'm just like, bro, what is wrong with you? Why are you so dependent on this one thing? It's really pissing off. And then, they will ash everywhere. And smokers, they think that everything is an ashtray. Yeah, everything is an ashtray. So, they will ash anywhere. It's just very pissing off. And then, hand smell of cigarettes their and tobacco, breath smells, their breath smells, smells, smells. Yeah, yeah. and you know they leave me at the dinner table and go smoke yeah. and I'm just sitting there I'm like oh okay I guess yeah I'll and they have a community alone. where like you if you are gone for dinner like we are so much uh, so, 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 and the whole table is gone. <laughs> yeah, you're suddenly like, you're just sitting alone. You're like, Acha, main kya karu? Main, you know, smoking. Chalu kar do. Yeah, I was like, shuru kar do. Kya? Me, bas toh the dost kam kar rahe hain. That's like one thing. Yeah, I, I hated really when I hated when people smoke in my car. You can get down and smoke in the car. It's like, well, we'll waste time if we get down. It, I don't care. Waste time. You take a cab and come from behind. <laughs> but don't smoke in my car because that smell stays, stays in the car. Yeah. And the next time you're sitting, you can't smell it then, but you can smell it the next time you sit in the car. And it's very, so, you know, the problem is smokers can never smell it because yeah. they live in it. Yeah, <laughs> the smell of it. Can you smell cigarettes ever? <laughs> you can never. But the minute you even take it out from the pack, I can smell it. Yeah. If you have smoked it, and this is yeah. so irritating because mm -hmm. I will look at like a smoker friend after they've smoked, I'll be like, bro, why did you, sm uh, if they've smoked my earlier apartment, didn't have a balcony. Yeah. So they would smoke in the house. And I'd be gone in a different room, I'd come back and I'd be like, did you smoke? Who smoked you? <laughs> and they'd be like, no, no one, no one, we didn't smoke. Hmm, I can't smell anything. I'm like, bro, you smoke, you don't know because you're winning. I know it's winning. That's like, so I can tell. Yeah. And they just can never tell yeah. that they have it, it, <laughs> because you live in it. Yeah, you just live in it. <laughs> you live in the smoke. <laughs> uh, there are so many actually. There are so many little. I hate it when people are uh, rude to staff. staff. Yeah, like in the restaurant or anything. Ki they say things like they own them. Yeah, and I hate it when like leaky ana, jana karna. And I'm like, bro. You're not supposed to talk to them yeah. like that, and it just breaks my heart. I'm yeah. Like, sorry, 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 sorry. I'm just saying sorry because this uh, man, like the, this guy or the girl, won't even realize that they're doing the, it. Yeah. They just think yeah. that anyone who's below their salary yeah. level or yeah. financial, whatever, yeah. is oh, jo bolega, wo insan so karega, yeah. kyunki usko paise chahiye. Yeah. It doesn't work yeah, that way, bro. It's rude. It's rude. You're yeah. asking them for a glass of water. Ask nicely. Nice Every time I ask yeah, please, a waiter for something. Yeah, please, thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm always like, hi, can I please get a glass yeah. of water? Thank you. Yeah. And sometimes I think people in India, like staff in India, mm. is so shocked when you're nice to them. Like, oh, you're yeah. welcome. Yeah. You know, because what to say? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so they're not used to uh, being treated that way. Which is also <laughs> like when you go abroad. Mm. Bro, you cannot be mean to yeah. the waiter. And yeah. these are the same people, this ho this whole pseudo elite group yeah. will, you know, be like, Are America to bow amazing hai. Yeah. So, matlab, waiter se dang se baat karna hauti. Yeah. You know, stuff yeah. like that. And I would just be like, Tum India mein aate ho, tum itni rudely baat karte ho. Tum udhar, wo tumhe bahar nikal dhe. Wo tumhari coffee pack dhe nye. Yeah, haa, they'll fucking spit in your food. They will refuse to serve you. Yeah, 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 you know? for sure. So, if you can appreciate that, okay, you must be nice to them yeah, they're, because they're human mm, beings. Mm. Why can't nice you do that here? Yeah, also, yeah. Na? yeah. And at the same time, I also hate it when like, like restaurant staff is rude to you because sometimes they are also just rude to you for no reason. Really? Yeah. What do you mean? We've had so many encounters where you will ask someone for something, they'll just be like, ma'am, wait. And they'll just like go like yeah. that, which is very, I yeah. just, I was asking a question. Sorry, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so that yeah, sometimes actually yeah, yeah. it can be and very annoying. I don't understand sometimes when we go to a restaurant and you don't book a table and you tell them can we have a table for two and they're like no we don't have tables available and you see pura gali hai empty. There's no one sitting there. Pura gali hai. There will be a reservation. They're coming in thirty minutes. Thirty minutes mein pura ho jayega. Oh my god, this happened to me when I was in the Maldives and yeah. it was a resort, okay, and to go to any 
of the restaurants mm. you had to make a booking one night mm. prior i was like main ek raat ke liye aayi hu main kya karu <laughs> and there are like 10 empty tables mm-hmm. okay i'm like hi can i please get a table did you have a reservation no it's booked i was like there are 10 tables mm-hmm. you, you are shutting your mm-hmm. service in the next 30 minutes mm-hmm. how is this going to pan out then all that went away i'm like abhi bhi art table khali hai like the why can't i eat bro? have you seen that meme yeah, yeah i have know i seen? know when she like uh, have you done a reservation no i'd like, like to book a table, table for two <laughs> yes i have <laughs> But so funny, and because I'm just like, okay, even if you don't have a table available, you uh, you have re- someone's reserved for the next, say one hour later. I will be done eating in 45 minutes. Just give me that table and eat and bounce. Yeah, if your party comes, I will move. Yeah, <laughs> and you know, if you're asking, if okay, एक घंटे बाद का reservation है, just ask me. Are you gonna take long? Are you gonna be here or why? Because yeah. most of the times, I am just gonna come. Eat and dip. Dip. Yeah, I'm not going to sit there for three, yeah, three, three four, four hours. Yeah, I'm not coming for the ambience, ambience of your restaurant. I just want to eat because I'm hungry. Yeah, yeah. If I were an ambience, I would just sit at home. Yeah, <laughs> very pissing off. Coming back to the using of the generosity bit. Um, I hate it when I lend my clothes to my friends. Ah, <laughs> lovely talk, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Looking fab. What are the earrings like? Can I see? It's mine. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Anything else that belongs to me? No, it's mine. <laughs> okay. My feet belong Aaj, to you. No, yeah. Chappal khud ki pehni hai, rose meri pehni. Tu bhi meri pehni hai, yaar. Maine kabi nahi pehni. Mujhe fit nahi aati, itne chote pehre. Tujhe badi wale fit aati hai. Tamari size same hai. Ek size bada nahi. Chote pehre. But anyway. I hated when my friends borrow. It, that was not the entire yeah. sentence. Mm-hmm. I hated when someone borrows my things, and then I see that it is in a terrible condition. Yeah. That I hate that. I hate it. And yeah. I'm like, रख ले अब नहीं चाहिए मुझे वापस. Yeah, bro, उस पे दाल गिरी हुई है. उस पे उसके कुत्ते ने पॉटी कर दी है. छड़ों पे. Talk about extremes. वो मतलब उनके अंडरवेयर uh, के साथ अंदर कहीं पड़ा हुआ है वो बाथरूम में गिरा हुआ है सिंक के साथ गीला हो गया है, वो yeah. पिछले एक हफ्ते से गीला हुए जा रहा है रोज आई एम लाइक रो ऐसे व्हाट द फक इज द प्रॉब्लम आई हैव गिवन यू समथिंग यू नो आई एम नॉट सेइंग यू हैव टू राइट मी अ थैंक यू कार्ड ऑल्दो आई वुड अप्रिशिएट इट ऑल आई एम आस्किंग फॉर इज डोंट रूइन इट डोंट रूइन इट एंड गिव गिव इट बैक Sometimes this happens. Then I, I sometimes fight with Shivani about this. Same. Well, I have given her a top, and three days later I see her oh, sister wearing it. I say, bro, <laughs> this matter. She think was it yours? I say, why is your sister wearing it? <laughs> oh my god! And the best is she'll always be like, this was yours. No, no, I've had it for a year. You have had it for a year. <laughs> yes, you have not given it back. You must give it back. Yeah. I hate when people are always on their phone. That is me. I have a really bad problem. Yeah, and you know that. I know it. Yeah. I take full yeah. responsibility, and I've been trying, yeah. r- genuinely been trying to uh, also not be on my phone a lot. But I feel like it's really a problem. Mm. <laughs> it's irritating for people. I can tell. It's yeah. irritating for me. And the thing is, because I'm such a self-aware person. Mm. I know that this is wrong, and when I'm sitting here with my phone, I know it's wrong, but I just cannot keep it away. And I keep it away. In two seconds, I pick yeah, it back yeah. up. Yeah, and you're going back and forth, and you're doing something on it. I'm just like, Alka, she's like, I'm listening, I'm listening. She's listening, but she's not really listening. And she's like, Yeah, what did you say? What was it again? <laughs> like, you know, when sometimes you would tell your friend that, Okay, this is going to be a long walk, and this is going to be a long day. just wear something comfortable and they would show up in like these heels or whatever okay and 5 minutes into the walk they're like bed jaye 2 minute mein actually my feet are hurting and i'm like i told you not to wear this we are meant to walk no, but my heels look so nice now yeah. with my outfit <laughs> is it me yes bro one second we were shooting uh, for you talking about that day no oh. generally oh yeah yeah Okay, like, like the last few trips I have uh, changed though because yeah. we know we actually cannot walk find each other, so and we walk like we're like walking for three four kilometers, and you're just walking and walking and walking because you can't get cabs, and it's easier to walk yeah. outside, yeah. like in Europe spe- especially. Yeah. 
when you know when people are constantly like listen listen oh so they touch you yeah like i hate when people touch me constantly i hate when people touch my face don't touch my face oh i don't mind when someone i'm just like don't touch my face unless you've just eaten something and you're touching my face yeah but i'm just like and like listen listen what are you doing what are you doing what are you doing now this is irritating i didn't even know i had this pet peeve but now it's feeling like Not nothing. I'm not doing anything. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to have this conversation. I don't. Don't touch me. <laughs> so I hate it when people like constantly touching you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I honestly don't mind it. I'm <laughs> I'm fine with it. I have no personal space or boundary issue at all. Did you wash your hands? Because yeah. then it's fine. Okay. Keep talking. It's like just like weird now. I don't know if people are gonna make memes out of this and make it into a pornography. <laughs> But you're okay <laughs> with it, John. <laughs> But okay. Um, bro, I hate. unreliable people like if i cannot rely on you if i asked you um hey can you help with this and you have very Promise. generously mm-hmm. offered and promised that yes i will be there i will make it happen and then it's 3 days gone by and they're like no no just on it just yeah. on it just on it i'm doing this only yeah. and no response i'm mm-hmm. um, you've told me you okay, can come at 3 pm to your house so it's been 4 it's been 4:30 no problem yeah. you show up at 8 yeah Like at least I also hated six hours yeah. of my life. You know, I also hated when they don't inform. Yeah. Like I'm gonna be late. I'm asking, oh where are you? Oh I'm just leaving. Bro, I've been waiting. <laughs> exactly. Like I give in Bombay, I give everyone the leeway of an hour. Yeah. Because of the traffic. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, ठीक है, चल late हो गया होगा, कुछ हो गया होगा घर पे, traffic होगा, anything. But you are telling me you are six hours late, seven hours late. It's it's just. it makes me feel like you're a flaky person yeah. in general yeah so you won't rely on them yeah idea. for anything even when if we have like a plan to go to a restaurant i will be so scared that nahi main wahan bed pe rahenge teen teen ghante tak to main kya karungi that's why you make plans with multiple people koi to pahunch jayega aur agar sab pahunch gaye to sab na pahunche to the glass is half empty the glass is half full the glass is full empty <laughs> Uh, yeah, I feel like I'm just very scared of flaky people, which is why so many years I just got my own birthday cakes. Because I was like, bro, नहीं लाया कोई cake तो कोई मेरे cake ही नहीं लाया तो and this has happened when someone has gotten me like an ice cream pastry kind of thing. It also, also happens when people are like, मुझे लगा तू लाएगा, मुझे लगा तू लाएगी, मुझे लगा तू लाएगा and then nobody gets it. <laughs> yeah, so I hate it when people are flaky yeah. or unreliable yeah. about things. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's very irritating. Yeah. Okay, I think we have addressed a lot of them about each other and in general. I think we it's safe to say we have a lot of pet peeves. peeves. Yeah, everything please. irritates us about people <laughs> in general. Yeah, and please let us know about your pet peeves in the comments, and we'll see. And I'd, we'll probably talk about it not on a podcast, but in general, thinking, oh yeah, that yeah. is also something yeah. that bothers us. Yeah. But yeah, it was a fun episode. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Bye. Bye.